uh, I'm Yue Xiang. Mm, I will present my paper, creating signature-based views for description logic ontology with transitivity and the qualified number restriction. Xiang Wu Chang Lu and Yi Zheng Zhao all contribute for this work. So the first problem, what is a ontology? Ontology is a formal description of knowledge as a set of concepts within domain and the relationship between them. So there is an example that formulate natural sentence to ontological language. The sentence is human, either male or female, have exactly two parents who are human too. So we can represent the natural sentence in ontological language. Look at the first axioms. We say the formula in ontology called the uh, axioms. The, the, the first axiom says that human is a union of male and female. The second axiom says male must not be female. The last axiom says that human have exactly two parents and parents are human too. Through the example, it is easy to follow how ontologies work. Well, this paper focuses on description logic based ontology. This descri description logic is a decidable fragment of first order logic. Description logic contains many languages such as EL, ALC, ALCOIH, and so on. Uh, they are different in expressivity and uh, computational complexity. Concept and role names, role names form the signature of DL based ontologies. In the, in the example, human, male, female, and the uh, head's parent are all signatures. Ontology have been widely used on, on the web as one of the building blocks of semantic technology. Ontologies are part of the worldwide, worldwide web consulting standard stack for the semantic web. They, pro they provide users with, uh, with the necessary structure to link one piece of information to other piece of information on the web of linked data. In addition, ontology can also be used for web search, detection of web attack and uh, semantic portals and uh, uh, bioinformatics. So, however, developing ontology is time consuming and uh, laborious and uh, error prone. So is their maintenance and uh, curation. Our task is to e extract a specific fragment for from an uh, existing ontology for ontology reuse. Consider a scenario if we want to use a football ontology for a new football sailor web service, but only sport ontology is available. So using entire sport ontology or build a new football ontology will exhaust lots of time and the resources. Wow. It will be very helpful if some method can extract the fragment about football from the sport ontology. So in this case, creating views of ontologies that can serve, serve the same purpose. The view is a concept from the field of a relational database. In relational database, we can construct a view from an existing existing tables through keywords such as select and where. A view contains specific rows and the columns. Views allow users to only care about the specific data they are interested in. So in ontology, we use, we use the symbol seek O denotes the set of concept and role names used in an ontology O we select a specific set of concepts and the role names from sigma O as a sigma. A view of 
the ontology all projects all down to the sub signature sigma and uh, and uh, preserve and preserve the semantics of the name in sigma the view is very useful for web applications such as ontology reuse information hiding explanation generation and so on and we create views for ontologies through a reasoning procedure via uni uniform interpolation. The input of uniform interpolation are an ontology O and a set of concepts and row names sigma. And the output and the output is a new ontology satisfying the following conditions. The first condition is that the signature of V is a subset of sigma. The second one is that for any x in alpha formulated in sigma, alpha is entailed by V if and only if alpha is entailed by O. Then V is called uniform sigma interpolant of O. V is also a signature based view of O. As a reasoning procedure in DL, UI, UI have, has been studied for many description logic language. Some fundamental studies show that UI doesn't, does not always exist for the DL, EL, or ALC. Deciding the existence of UI is EXP time complete for EL and uh, 2XP time complete for ALC. And uh, UI can be triple exponential in size with respect to the input of ontology for EL and ALC. Therefore, UI is a computationally extremely hard work. Nonetheless, there is still some existing method for compute UI, such as Nui can compute UI in EL++ and Fame compute UI in ALC and uh, Lacy compute UI in LLC and uh, its extensions such as LCH, SHQ. <clears throat> and uh, our, our UI method accommodates the DL SHQ. SHQ is extended from LLC with transitivity, row inclusion, and the qualified number restrictions. SHQ is much more expressive than LLC and this computational complexity is worse than that of ALC. With high expressivity, SHQ can model more complex knowledge. For example, with transitivity, we are capable of declaring uh, has ancestor is a transitive rose. With qualified number restrictions, we are capable of stating that everyone has two parents. So, and uh, Lisi is, uh, is currently the only method for compute UI in SHQ. However, Lisi is unable to handle large scale ontology. However, it, it slow row names in Sigma. In contrast, in reality, web ontology are often very large in size. There is no method that can be used for the web sometimes. And uh, allowing row name to be in Sigma is essential. So we, de we developed a novel UI method based on a forgetting procedure. Forgetting is a dual notation of the UI. The inputs of forgetting are also an ontology and a set of concept name and the row names. The difference is that forgetting aim to eliminate the names in F from its result, but uh, UI aim to preserve name, preserve names in Sigma. In other words, the result of forgetting F from O is the uniform Sigma interpolant of O with F equivalent to Sigma, Sigma O reduced Sigma. And our method consists of two components. One is a concept forgetting and another one is a row forgetting. 
respectively to eliminate concept and row names. In concept forgetting, there is a set of inference rules intended to eliminate a single concept name A. The rules work on normal forms of input axioms. Normal forms generalize all possible uh, the picture is the inference rules it is unreadable, so we skip it. And the normal form generalize all possible basic forms of SHQ axiom. We transform the input ontology into normal form by introducing a uh, definal. Definals are auxiliary concept names introduced in normalization phrase. All definals will be eliminated by finally. Our method introduces the definals in polynomial time, but the but Lacy introduced definal in exponential time. So our mess our method algorithmic ascendancy over Lacy for concept forgetting. So for for the row forgetting. There are also a set of inference rule and the uh, normal form seen row forgetting. The ideal is the same as that in concept forgetting. But it is worth mentioning that the inference rules is completely novel. And uh, our method is the first approach to forget row names in SHQ. And uh, our forgetting and our forgetting algorithms eliminate the, the name in F one by one. So the, with the input O and F, if F is non-empty, then we will select a name. Then we do normalization. Then we apply the inference rules to el eliminate A from O, and then remove A from F until F is empty. And our method is terminating and sound. So let n is the number of axioms in O, the size of the result of forgetting f from O is bounded by is bounded by yeah. Is bounded by this one. Can can you look at my uh Here, yeah. And uh, our method is sound. Soundness is that what our method returns, if not containing any definers, is a uniform sigma interpolant of O. It's 10 next, but okay. Finally, we developed a prototype system using Java with our API. We used as a test data the ontologies in BioPortal that contains transitivity rules or qualified number restrictions. And we selected 100 42 ontologies as our test data. And uh, the data set is benchmark data set. So there are some statistic of selected ontology. The O is denotes the number of axioms in O. Uh, NC denotes the number of constant name in O. And uh, we conducted an experiment using both Lacy and uh, our tools for compression of the performance between them. The experiment was in settings which were forgetting respectively 10%, 30%, 50% consumer name to fit real applications. The forgetting signature was selected randomly. The test was repeat on each ontology 10 times under each experiment setting. 
a time out of five minutes is imposed in each run. And uh, from the table, we can see that our tools is three times faster than Lisi on average. As the result, the success rates are higher than Lisi. And uh, the discrepancy in running time becomes more obvious as uh, F grows. In the picture, the abscissa uh, represent the number of axioms. The ordinates represent the running time. The decrepancy in running time becomes more obvious as the size of ontology grows. Finally, we also conducted a similar experiment to verify the performance of row forgetting of our tools. And we can see the time out rates are higher than that of concept forgetting. It shows that row forgetting co costs more computational resources and the row forgetting is much harder than, harder than concept forgetting. To the end, our contribution is that we developed a terminating and a sound UI method for creating signature-based view of SHQ ontology. And uh, our method is notably faster than Lisi for concept forgetting. And uh, our method is the first and so far the only approach to forget role names in SHQ. And, uh, it uh, provide a uh, powerful tools for the application of ontology. And uh, we also facilitate the semantic web, promote data interoperability inter on the web. And the creating signature based view is useful for, is very useful from for many downstream web applications, such as query, retrieval, search. Thank you for your attention. And the questions are always welcome. Uh, thank you, Yua. And we're almost at the end of the session, but I would like to ask a question um, which takes a step back from 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 the work on 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 views to perhaps try to clarify the the contribution compared to work that was done in ontology reuse in the in the ontology engineering community say so there's work that has done that um, um has looked at ontology modularization for instance um yeah there's also um various frameworks and methodologies to create large ontologies at, at scale on the web um, and, and reusing existing ontologies is, is, is part of, 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 of that process. So, so could you perhaps summarize um, how, how your work, your approach um, that uses uniform interpolation compares to um, Previous work, say in modularization, and how it how it truly fosters the reuse of existing ontologies. Okay, modularization definitely is another way to create a view for existing ontology. However, the modularization he didn't hold for the condition one. That is. The mm -hmm. result of module modularization, it will be contain some concept name or role names do not do not in Sigma. So so if we have some information, sensitive information in the original ontology, uh, if we use the modularization, those sensitive concept name may be occurs in the result. So mm -hmm. it is very 
unsafe, we need we need to ensure the security of information. 